Israel maintains a pioneering naval presence in critical strategic theaters, including the Mediterranean Sea, the Gulf of Eilat, and the Red Sea. Positioned in these regions are groundbreaking vessels equipped with sophisticated weaponry and surveillance systems, ready to respond decisively to any threats that may arise. Its unwavering dedication to maintaining a robust national defense has culminated in announcing its latest state-of-the-art corvette. How does this new corvette fit into Israel's broader maritime defense strategy? What specific roles does each marine vessel play in ensuring the nation's security in the Mediterranean Sea and surrounding areas? Join us as we explore the Israeli new corvette and its naval strength and readiness. Sa'ar 6 class corvettes. The Sa'ar 6 class corvettes represent a pinnacle of naval engineering and cutting edge technology, offering a formidable addition to Israel's naval fleet. With a full load displacement of nearly 1,900 tons and a length of 9,000 meters, these corvettes are a force to be reconnoitred with in naval vessels. These corvettes have advanced weaponry and systems making them well-suited for various mission profiles. Their armament includes the impressive Otto Malara 76mm main gun, two Typhoon weapon stations, 16 vertical launch cells designed for Barak-8 surface-to-air missiles, and 40 cells allocated for the Sea Dome point defense system. These capabilities provide robust air defense and missile interception capabilities. To bolster their naval warfare capabilities, the Sayar 6 class corvettes are armed with 16 Gabriel 5 anti ship missiles, known for their precision and range. Additionally, the corvettes feature the ELM 2248 MF Star AESA radar, which enhances situational awareness and target tracking. For anti submarine warfare, these corvettes are equipped with two 324 mm torpedo launchers adding a vital undersea threat response capability to their arsenal. These versatile vessels also offer hangar space and a platform capable of accommodating a medium-class SH-60 type helicopter. This feature significantly enhances their maritime surveillance, reconnaissance, and anti-submarine warfare capabilities by extending their operational reach beyond the horizon. Israel welcomed the first of the Sayar 6-class corvettes, INS Magan, on 11 December 2020, marking a significant milestone in their naval capabilities. The second corvette, INS Oz, was officially handed over by ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems on 4 May 2021. On 27 July 2021, the Israeli Navy received the final two ships of the class, INS Atzmaut and INS Nitzakon. It's noteworthy that the Israeli Navy planned to further equip these vessels with radar and weapon systems upon their arrival in Israel. In a ceremonial event held in Haifa in September 2022, the 7662 rapid fire main gun for the first two ships of the Sayar 6 class corvettes was officially accepted. These corvettes have become an integral part of Israel's maritime defense strategy, combining state-of-the-art weaponry and technology in a formidable naval platform. Their versatility, firepower, and advanced systems make them valuable assets for safeguarding Israel's maritime interests and national security. Dolphin-class submarines. The Dolphin-class, a remarkable series of diesel-electric submarines, has its roots in the heart of Israel. These underwater vessels were meticulously designed and crafted by the prestigious Hoeltzwerk Deutsche Werft AG in Kiel, Germany, with the sole purpose of serving the Israeli Navy. What sets them apart is their intriguing journey from their initial inspiration, the German 209-class submarines initially created for export, to the substantial transformation and expansion they underwent. Within the Dolphin class, there exists a unique subclass known as Dolphin 1, distinguished by its slightly larger dimensions compared to the German Navy Type 212 submarines. Both in terms of length and displacement, these Dolphin 1 submarines exhibit a notable size increase. Additionally, the Dolphin class boasts three newer submarines equipped with cutting-edge air-independent propulsion technology, 
granting them impressive underwater endurance akin to the Type 212 vessels. These newer submarines, however, stand out with their remarkable characteristics, extending a remarkable 12 meters in length, bearing nearly 500 additional tons in submerged displacement, and demanding a larger crew complement compared to their Type 222 and Type 214 counterparts. These formidable submarines have a formidable arsenal, boasting 6 by 533 mm torpedo tubes and 4 by 650 mm. Among them, the larger tubes serve a multifaceted purpose, allowing mine deployment, launching substantial submarine-launched cruise missiles, or facilitating the deployment of swimmer delivery vehicles. Within these tubes, liners are utilized to accommodate standard torpedoes and submarine-launched missiles. Furthermore, Israel has acquired the more advanced DM-2A4 torpedoes, electrically propelled and equipped with sophisticated features. An intriguing aspect of the Dolphin-class submarines is their rumored nuclear-armed status, providing Israel with a potent sea-based second-strike capability, as detailed by Jane's Defense Weekly. Notably, these submarines are equipped for launching Israeli-built nuclear-armed Popeye turbo cruise missiles, adding to their formidable arsenal. Regarding their control systems, the Dolphin-class submarines employ the Advanced ISIS-91 TCS weapon control system, thoughtfully supplied by STN Atlas Electronics. This comprehensive system takes charge of automatic sensor management, fire control, navigation, and operational functions. Their sonar suite is equally impressive, featuring advanced passive and active search and attack sonar systems, including the Atlas Electronic CSU-90 hull-mounted sonar, PRS-3 passive ranging sonar, and FAS-3 passive search sonar. The design of these submarines incorporates features that enhance their stealth characteristics, including a colorful hull cross-section and the use of non-magnetic materials to reduce the likelihood of detection by magnetometers or the accidental triggering of magnetic naval mines. Moreover, the Dolphin-class submarines can accommodate an external Special Forces hangar located aft of their sail. Propelled by three V16-396 SE-84 diesel engines crafted by MTU Friedrichshafen, the Dolphin-class submarines have a substantial 3.12 megawatts sustained power. This power source, complemented by three Siemens 750 kilowatts alternators and a Siemens 2.85 megawatt sustained power motor, drives a single shaft enabling the submarines to achieve various speeds when submerged and snorkeling. These vessels are well equipped for deep dives, with a maximum rated depth of 350 meters and boast an impressive unrefueled range, ensuring they can remain on station for up to 30 days without resupply. Their versatility, combined with their cutting-edge technology and strategic capabilities, makes the Dolphin-class submarines an invaluable asset to the Israeli Navy. Shaldag-class patrol boats. The Shaldag-class patrol boats are purpose-built naval vessels designed to excel in security missions that demand high intercept speeds, focusing on addressing counter-terrorism activities and combating illegal smuggling operations. These patrol boats exhibit a remarkable combination of features and capabilities that set them apart in maritime security. One of their standout attributes is the ability to maintain high speeds even when navigating through rough seas. This crucial feature ensures their effectiveness in various sea conditions and enables them to respond swiftly to emerging threats. Their exceptional sea-keeping ability further enhances their performance allowing them to operate effectively in challenging maritime environments. Maneuverability is a key strength of the Shaldag-class patrol boats, making them highly agile and responsive to changing situations. This trait is particularly valuable in security missions, where quick and precise actions are required to address potential threats effectively. The design of these patrol boats minimizes slamming, even in adverse sea states, 
This feature not only enhances the comfort and safety of the crew on board, but also allows the vessels to maintain their operational capabilities without being hindered by rough waters. Furthermore, the patrol boats are equipped with dry decks across various speeds, ensuring that the crew can carry out their duties in a comfortable and safe environment, irrespective of the sea conditions. The internal arrangement of these vessels is carefully designed, offering accessibility and efficiency. The layout is well organized to facilitate the crew's activities during security missions. This well thought out design contributes to the boat's overall effectiveness and ensures that the crew can perform their tasks with ease. In terms of construction, the Shaldag class patrol boats are constructed from welded marine aluminum alloy. The hull deck and deck house are integral components of their structure using transverse frames and longitudinals, adds to the vessel's structural robustness, ensuring they can withstand the demands of their security missions. To enhance operational endurance, the patrol boats feature integral double-bottom tanks that store fuel. Additionally, a gravity fuel tank at the vessel's center extends their range and mission duration. The vessels are divided into six watertight compartments, adhering to rigorous international standards for flooded damage stability. This design ensures that the patrol boats maintain their buoyancy and stability even in the event of damage or flooding, making them highly resilient in the face of potential threats. In armament, these patrol boats are equipped with a Typhoon weapons station, which houses a Bushmaster M242 and cutting-edge electro-optic systems. This weaponry provides them with the capability to engage and neutralize a wide range of threats, including enemy ships and aircraft. The patrol boats also feature foredeck and aft deck rings designed to accommodate Ehrlichon 20mm cannons, enhancing their firepower and anti-aircraft capabilities. Furthermore, a single gun mount is included, offering versatility in targeting potential threats. For added firepower and adaptability, fixtures are installed on both sides of the main deck, enabling the integration of 0.5-inch machine guns. This flexibility allows the patrol boats to respond quickly to emerging threats and bolster their defense capabilities. Additionally, the vessels can be configured to accommodate advanced weapon systems, such as rapid-fire stabilized gun mounts. These systems can be remotely controlled using a night vision system, enhancing their firepower and precision in security missions. Super Dvora Mark III The Super Dvora Mark III's class patrol boats, proudly manufactured by IAI Ramta in 2004, represent the pinnacle of innovation within the esteemed Devora family of fast patrol boats, also renowned as fast attack craft. These vessels seamlessly blend exceptional speed, cutting-edge thrust vectoring control through articulated surface drives, and an imposing armament arsenal that includes automatic grenade launchers, AGM-114 Hellfire missiles, Spike NLOS missiles, and 30mm cannons. These boats are a testament to the unwavering commitment to excellence in naval engineering. The Super Dvora MK Third boats have been finely tuned for intercepting sea targets at astonishing speeds, capable of reaching an impressive 50 knots. Their long-range capabilities are further accentuated by their sea replenishment features, allowing for extended endurance beyond the typical four-day range. Moreover, they boast exceptional maneuverability in both open and coastal environments, ensuring steady sea-keeping performance even in challenging sea conditions. Depending on the specific operational package, these vessels can exhibit a total displacement, ranging from 72 to 58 tons, making them incredibly versatile for various missions. These patrol boats not only showcase speed and agility, but are also meticulously designed to maintain high operating tempos. Their hull geometry is ingeniously crafted to deliver consistent sea-keeping performance at all speeds, ensuring a dry deck even during high-speed operations and precision tracking missions. The propulsion system of the Super Devora MK-Thru is a masterpiece of robust design, 
It relies on two Detroit diesel MTU 12V4000 engines, churning out an impressive 4,175 horsepower. These engines drive two articulated surface drives, originally conceived for competitive speedboats. The Arneson Surface Drive 16 articulating propulsion systems provide thrust vectoring control, elevating the vessel's maneuverability and enabling it to deftly navigate in shallow waters with a draft of just 1.2 meters. This unique capability empowers the boat to carry out crucial operations, such as delivering special operations forces on enemy shores and supporting disaster relief missions with unmatched precision. The Super Devora MK3's design has been thoughtfully tailored to adapt to various formidable armaments, which include the Typhoon 20-30mm stabilized cannon, heavy machine guns, AGM-114 Hellfire missiles, and Spike and Laws missiles. These armaments can be seamlessly integrated with state-of-the-art, mast-mounted, day-night, long-range electro-optic systems featuring cutting-edge Elbit LOP sensors and targeting systems. This remarkable versatility in armament makes the Super Devora MK3 an incredibly adaptable and effective vessel, ideally suited for a wide array of maritime missions. Protector USV The Protector Unmanned Surface Vehicle, developed by Israel's Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, is a direct response to the growing threat of terrorism against maritime assets, as exemplified by incidents like the USS Cole bombing. Notably, the Protector is the world's first operational combat USV actively serving in naval operations. It stands out by integrating the Mini Typhoon Weapon Station, adding to its defensive capabilities. In 2005, the Singapore Navy recognized the Protector's potential and deployed it to support coalition forces in the Persian Gulf. Subsequently, the USV played a pivotal role in anti-piracy operations in the tumultuous waters of the Gulf of Aden. The effectiveness and adaptability of the Protector were evident, further solidifying its significance in modern maritime security. It was during this period that the Protector proved its mettle as a reliable and versatile unmanned naval asset. Raphael announced in 2012 that an enhanced version of the Protector was in the works. This new iteration would measure 11 meters in length, offering a more extended range and a broader array of weaponry. This development demonstrated a commitment to staying at the forefront of naval technology, ensuring the Protector remained a cutting-edge solution for maritime security. The Protector USV, built upon a 9-meter rigid-hulled inflatable boat, is a marvel of engineering, boasting stealth, impressive speed, and outstanding maneuverability. Its upper structure is carefully designed, maintaining a low profile that is both sealed and aerodynamic. The vessel's modular platform can be easily reconfigured to adapt to changing mission requirements. This adaptability spans various mission profiles, from force protection to anti-terror operations, surveillance, reconnaissance, mine warfare, and electronic warfare. The hull itself features a deep V-shaped planing hull with the inflatable section serving a dual purpose, providing both stability and endurance. A single diesel engine powers water jets, allowing the protector to achieve remarkable speeds of up to 50 knots, ensuring swift and agile response capabilities. For enhanced surveillance, identification, and interception capabilities, the Protector is equipped with the Mini Typhoon Stabilized Weapon System. In addition, it features the Top Light Electro-Optic Surveillance and Targeting System, which enhances its reconnaissance and engagement capabilities. This advanced system offers day and night targeting abilities through forward-looking infrared technology, charge-coupled devices, and laser range finders. It also incorporates a public address system, facilitating communication in various operational scenarios. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Protector is its remote operation capabilities. It can be controlled with guidance from a commander and operator either ashore or on board a manned vessel. 
This level of remote control enables the protector to serve as the first line of defense, allowing it to inspect vessels of interest while maintaining a safe distance from personnel and valuable assets. This not only ensures the safety of human operators, but also extends the reach of maritime security operations, making the protector an invaluable asset in modern naval defense strategies. Skins Dracon INS Draken, colloquially known as the Dragon, is a remarkable addition to the esteemed Dolphin II-class submarine fleet of the Israeli Navy. This remarkable submarine was meticulously constructed in Kiel, Germany, and as of early 2022, reports surfaced indicating that it was undergoing rigorous sea trials. While no official confirmations have emerged from either the German or Israeli governments, intriguing speculations have arisen, hinting at potential enhancements, with particular emphasis on including a vertical launch system. The mastermind behind this engineering marvel, Thyssen Krupp Marine Systems, released illustrations that painted a vivid picture of distinctive changes in the sail and hull form of the Dracon. TKMS went further to describe the Dracon as a completely new design, meticulously tailored to fulfill the precise operational requirements of the Israeli Navy. A pivotal moment in the submarine's development came when it was temporarily removed from the water, only to be subsequently relaunched in August 2023. Visual evidence of this relaunch revealed a significantly larger sail, sparking tantalizing speculations about the potential integration of vertical launch missile silos into the vessel's design. One of the most intriguing aspects of the expanded sail is the wide range of applications it could potentially house. An analysis conducted by Mattis Smutney, among others, suggests that this redesigned sail could serve as a versatile compartment for various specialized equipment. Possibilities include unmanned underwater vehicles for covert underwater operations, aerial drones for reconnaissance and surveillance, or other high-tech apparatus dedicated to special operations and intelligence-gathering missions. This redesign of the sail also hints at the possibility of pioneering technology that may find its way into the forthcoming Dakar class of submarines, Sayar 5 class corvettes. The Sar 5 class corvettes, aptly known as Sayar in Hebrew, which translates to storm, are a formidable and distinctive class of naval vessels that have left an indelible mark on the Israeli Navy. The genesis of these corvettes involved meticulous design and planning by Israeli experts who drew from the valuable insights gained from the Sa'ar 4.5-class missile boats. This rich repository of knowledge and experience served as the foundation upon which the Sa'ar 5 ships were meticulously crafted, serving as a resounding testament to Israeli ingenuity. The distinguished shipbuilding expertise of Huntington Ingalls Industries previously known as Lytton Ingalls Shipbuilding Corporation, situated in Pascagoula, Mississippi, played a pivotal role in bringing these impressive vessels to life. Constructed in alignment with Israeli designs, the Sa'ar 5-class corvettes have significantly bolstered Israel's maritime defense capabilities. The Sa'ar 5-class corvettes earned their reputation as the largest surface warships in the Israeli naval fleet, symbolizing their paramount importance in naval operations. It is important to highlight that despite their classification as corvettes, due to their relatively compact size and a crew complement of 71 dedicated personnel, their armament and capabilities stood on par with much larger frigates. These corvettes were a formidable force, featuring a diverse and potent array of weaponry and advanced systems that rendered them invaluable assets in naval operations bolstering their capabilities in underwater warfare. These corvettes came equipped with state-of-the-art sonar systems, which proved essential for underwater surveillance and the early detection of potential threats. Moreover, they featured two triple torpedo launchers, a crucial component of their armament, enabling them to engage and neutralize underwater threats effectively. In surface warfare, their firepower was significantly augmented by the presence of two quadruple missile launchers, enhancing their capacity to deal with various surface threats with remarkable precision and potency. 
The Saar V-class corvettes left no stone unturned regarding electronic warfare as they were outfitted with cutting-edge capabilities that effectively countered electronic threats. Decoys were pivotal in diverting incoming threats from the vessel, significantly enhancing the corvettes' survivability in hostile and unpredictable maritime environments. Further enhancing their air defense capabilities, these formidable vessels featured a close-in weapon system, which promptly responded to incoming aerial threats, further fortifying their defenses. Two auto-cannon systems added another layer of firepower, making the corvettes formidable adversaries in naval engagements, capable of confronting a wide spectrum of challenges with unparalleled versatility and efficacy. The inclusion of a helipad and a helicopter hangar underscored their multi-mission capabilities, granting them the capacity to accommodate and operate rotary wing aircraft for a range of purposes. This versatility allowed them to excel in anti-submarine warfare, surveillance, search and rescue operations, and more. The Saar V-class corvettes have, and continue to be, an emblem of excellence in naval engineering and a testament to the unwavering commitment of the Israeli Navy to maintain the highest standards of maritime defense capabilities. Israel's dedication to naval prowess is twofold. It acts as both a deterrent and a testament to the nation's unwavering resolve to safeguard its waters and territorial integrity. In the face of intricate security challenges, these naval assets assume a central role in preserving the safety and sovereignty of Israel's borders, thereby reinforcing the nation's steadfast commitment to national defense. Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click on the link on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there.